Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to my new video. Hope you're all doing well. In today's episode, I'm going to build a new gaming rig like I did a couple of days ago. But in the last video, I only used time-lapse footage without commentary. Not in this video though. I'm going to explain every step for you guys to see how easy it is to build your own gaming PC. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> I'm going to use this old 2080 for another build. This MSI AIO will give our build a unique RGB look when it's installed. And here our mainboard MSI Z490A Pro. Later, when I went to the BIOS, I wouldn't say I liked the interface since I've never used MSI in my build before. Last but not least, we have our Intel Core i9-10900K. This powerful CPU with 10 cores at 3.7 GHz could be boosted up to 5.3 GHz. It's famous for leading gaming performance, also strong in both single and multi-threaded applications. As you can see, I installed the CPU, which is very easy to do so. Just make sure the little arrow on the CPU is aligned with the little arrow on the CPU socket itself. Now I'm attaching the motherboard to the case. It usually takes about 8 screws. I forgot to mention the RAM installation. It's super easy. If you're going to use more than a RAM, just double check the motherboard's manual to make sure you're going to take advantage of dual channel by placing the RAMs in the right slots. If you have 4 slots in your motherboard, from left to right they're called A1, A2, B1 and B2. Try to put the RAMs in the matching number slots, I'm repeating, the matching number slots like A1 and B1 or A2 and B2, not the matching letters. In my build, I put RAM in A2 and B2. I already added the fans to the AIO, but realized I have it in a wrong direction. The fans wires are toward me, making cable management much harder than usual and almost impossible. Still, I refuse to fix it, leading to more significant problems later in my build. After installing the AIO on the CPU, I decided to bring the fans out without taking the radiator to save time. I was so wrong. I looked at the motherboard's manual and connected the case power, reset, and HDD light cables to the mainboard. Next, it's time for the power supply after connecting all the fans and case cables to the mainboard. I would like to organize the PSU cables at first, then start from the CPU power cable all the way down to the GPU power cable. Here I realized that I can't connect the CPU power cable due to the placement of my radiator. So now I'm forced to take it out once again for good. Then it's time for the main board 20 plus 4 pin cable. During the SATA power cable connection, I start to look for my storage devices. I will use the old 3.5 HDD that goes into my storage bay, 2.5 HDD and a 2.5 SSD in this build. Attach them to the case, connect the SATA power and data cables and move on to the GPU. For the GPU installation, when you're connecting it to the PCIe slot on the main board, you hear the click to make sure that it's secured. Then screw it to the case for the extra support. Since we are done with our build, let's go and benchmark this baby. <laughs>
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any recommendations or any questions. I will answer them in no time. With that being said, hit that sub button to stay tuned. And it's always free to unsubscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.